person-centered planning is all about what a person can do. Person-centered is not just having the person in the center of what you want to do for them. They're directing it. And even if they can't speak, they can tell you what they want. One of the great things about person-centered planning is that the person is actually in charge of their life. What impressed me about it was just how it asked questions about every single thing in daily life. Do I get to choose when I get up in the morning? Can I choose my place of employment enough? Can I choose what I want to wear? Can I choose who I want to hang out with? Just those, and just those things you don't think about very much until they come to you and it's just, wow, we really covered good ground. When you learn about person-centered planning, it's, it's so important because everyone has different needs and that couldn't be more true especially in the disability community. And person-centered planning is so um, important and effective because it takes each individual and says, hey, this is who I am, this is what I care about, this is what I need to be my best self, this is how you can support me and help advocate for me. Um, you know, if, if people are in a situation where maybe they're not able to do that for themselves. It breaks you down into so many different categories, which I love. There's a workplace one, there's um, a, a portion about transition services, and so it's really adaptable to a myriad of different situations, and, um, and that's what I, I love about it. And I love the packet because it's in plain language, it's easy to understand. If you know nothing about pl person-centered planning uh, prior to this packet, then I mean, you'll you'll come out being an expert because it's, it's that easy to understand, um, which is great because of the importance of it and how it can help transform people's lives and um, you know even save people's lives. 